Hi guys, Greg here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the survey program. With this cross, we're just going and measuring at our target now. And that's how I'm going to find the target first before I jump in here and find it exactly to shoot it. So. I now show you the survey program, which is number two on the EDM. So we're gonna press two, and uh, we gonna actually open a new job. As uh, I'm gonna put it as a site, and let's say we're gonna do the level survey. I will do the level survey program, which you're going to be actually probably doing every time you you're going to pour the slab or if you're going to change check the level of some ground you're going to be working so i'm going to go first actually and change the target so go to the edm i'm going to go non prism and we're going to use a tracking continue laser off so we're going to want, we want laser on and i just show you now one thing really so we got now easting northing hive the edm shows you some other information as well as a uh, angular distance and the horizontal distance as well to the point we are shooting coming back to this the height of our terrace here the level here it's uh, 49 120 so what we can do now when we check in the level really i i want to know what's the difference in the level we are looking for these tiles were set was 49 120 so if i type here in hr 49 120 it's going to show me zero so let, let's go somewhere else so this is plus five now if i go to that stone there minus 25 if i shoot the uh, Wembley Stadium, the arc, I'll actually try to shoot the top of the arc, really, one second, that might be interesting. See, the measurement not achieve signal to weak air turbulence or break in beam. Okay, impossible at this weather. Let's do the level survey then here. I got our reference height here what we're going to be measuring to and then just measure button and as you can see your EDM going to be saving the points in our job uh, site and level and I'm pressing measure button point number three measure button point number four and for this uh, surveys I usually using this button here because I see the target from here and then I'll just move an EDM like that Okay, I can hear there is a sound which uh, gives me the information that the point is saved. Bank another one, and that's the way I go really. 
So moving the EDM, pressing the point, moving here, pressing the point, and so on and so on. You can set datums using this option as well. So when we're going to set datum, I'm, I got this datum set there before 5500, so I can actually just double check if the datum is correct or to be honest, I know the datum is correct. So just want to check if my station now is correct. So we have now, yeah, 5500, so it's spot on. So I'm actually using this uh, survey option for setting some levels. And if you look at, if you have a look at there when my laser is, you can just mark, so you can set the datums for yourself using the survey or quickly check some levels so we got the level survey now what i'm going to do as well i'm going to check the boundary here which is going to be our side boundary it's going to be done exactly the same and uh, i can change the point name here so i'm going to put as a s b for side boundary and then later when i plot it on the cut i'm going to create a little bit drawing which showing our sight and field here so let's quickly shoot it and it's starting rain really so we're gonna be quick so you're just shooting your your boundary i actually shoot the corners of uh, of this terrace here i need this point here we're gonna take that corner there actually we all we need is corners really to set up our field. Okay guys, so I think that's it for today's video about the surveying program here. When I'm gonna set a local grid for this here, it's gonna be very useful uh, because working using the survey program gonna enable you to find the lines straight away using survey only. Okay guys, that's it for now. I think that's all you need to know actually about the survey program in our EDM. Guys, that's it in today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I believe you just make another step forward in your setting out site engineering knowledge. If you have any questions, if something was unclear, please let me know, leave in the comment below. And please guys, subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on so you're gonna know when my next video gonna be released. So thank you again for watching and see you next time back on my channel.